Se on livenä nyt. Mitä?
Well, good evening, everyone, and it's uh, the second episode of History with Haiti. Now, if you, I've had tremendous trouble with my um, intro stuff, so if um, I forgot to take a very special uh, panelist with me, so I will have to put you on hold for a very, very brief time while I get my um, panelist, excuse me. Sorry about that. I um, had to get um, a very special friend to, to be here with me tonight. As per usual, um, I have Stefan the Hedgehog uh, as a co-host. Now, because it's very a very very special episode tonight about Tuve Jansson, the mother of Moomins. Who could be a better guest, guest uh, tonight in this episode than Vertil? Vertil is a Moomin, he is a Moomin forefather. Now and then of course I think you haven't, none of you have, none of my viewers have seen a, per a very special panelist who is always here in the room with me, but not always. Um, she is never in my shows as of until right now. She is Morran. So, she is Morran. Uh, she is a Moomin character as well and nothing more fitting to wear would be that a uh, Moomin, Moomin hoodie I uh, bought this a while ago it's Moomin there is a Moomin troll on on the uh, on the front the, there's a Moomin shop um, uh, not so far from where we live so I unfortunately it's closing down but Luckily, um, they, don't, they have another shop in the Helsinki city center uh, where we can then go and buy these uh, things. And, and of course, there's a, an online, um, online store. But please, there is not any paid uh, ads, shall we say. Uh, Please uh, check the links in the description box down below. There are playlists, there are all kinds of fun stuff. There are the, the Discord servers as well, where which you can then go and join, join these servers. But now, now then, who? was Tuve Jansson, born August 9th, 1914, passed away June 27th, 2001. She was an author, uh, she was a, a Swedish speaking Finn, uh, a uh, native Swedish, Swedish speaker, a Finn, an author, uh, novelist, painter, illustrator, and a comic strip author. Um, her father was a sculptor and um, he uh, Victor Jansson and then her her uh, mom was a uh, Swedish graphic designer and an illustrator 
Signe Hammarsten Jansson. She was a very talented painter, uh, as well as writer. She wrote, um, she actually wrote six novels, including uh, a Sommar book and, and five other short stories for adults. She started uh, the first Moomin book for children was published in, in Swedish in 1945 with the name The Moomins and the Great Flood. The next was Comet in, the, in Moominland and Finn, Finn Family Moomin Troll published in 1946, 1948 respectively were uh, successful in sales and then her uh, autobiography was published in um, 1968 with with semi autobiography semi semi autobiography named Bildhuggerens which is um, Swedish for sculptor's daughter. So she, as I said, she started with the Moomin book, books in 1945. And although um, uh, the first primary uh, characters were Moomin Mama and Moomin Papa, but, you know, uh, excuse me, Moomin Mama and the Moomin, Moomin Troll, uh, more more principal characters then came along along the way she um, wrote several several but many books I think it was 12 12 or 13 if I'm not completely mistaken from from my what I could uh, gather um, she was also an illustrator and a cartoonist for a uh, Swedish language satirical magazine Garm from from the 30s until 1953 and one she drew political cartoons and she and uh, one of those cartoons um, uh, caused international infamy due to um, due to this uh, cover or this illustration um, uh, portraying portraying a a German leader in not so uh, nice way and then. Yeah, that caused a stir, but that was something she just decided to do. Um, she was also a very talented uh, painter and illustrator. She made um, public works, a big, big public murals to a to, for example, Aurora Children's Hospital in Helsinki, which is now uh, part of the Helsinki University Hospital. And for example, the Helsinki City Hall, which was then um, transferred, transferred elsewhere in uh, 1974. In theater, several stage productions were made of of her uh, of Jansson's of Jansson's uh, Moomin series, and there was a um, theatrical version of what was called of the book a Comet in Moomin in Moominland in 1949, 1949 uh, at Obo Svenska Teater 
which is the the Swedish theater in Turku. In early 50s, uh, Tuve collaborated with these movement themed uh, children's plays with a director, a theater director called Vivica Brandler, with whom she, uh, Tuve and Vivica had a brief, brief um, love affair. And Vivica Brandle, there's a Moomin character, Vivslan, who was actually named after Vivica Brandle. Uh, Tuve uh, included many, impo- included the important women in her life to these uh, Moomin characters. Uh, this would include uh, Vivica Brandler as in as a car- character Vislan. Uh, there were two characters Tuflan and Vislan in in the movements they were inseparable and they had their own language. It's cute if you really think about it. And as I said she had an affair with a woman. Tove Jansson was bisexual and that is why I decided to make an episode of this legendary strong woman, an, an artist. And uh, she, as I, as far as I can tell, what I, based on what I could find, she had as far as I know, she also had a PhD in arts. So she wasn't just some uh, random, random cartoonist who became um, a random cartoonist turned international uh, writer. But in speaking of international things, um, she didn't just illustrate do do illustrations for her for her own Moomin books and paint in the big uh, a prominent children's hospital and the Helsinki City Hall and in a church church fresco in kindergartens etc etc she also illustrated the Swedish trans- translations of classics ch- such as J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit, Lewis Carroll's Hunting of the Snark, and, Alice, and Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And also, if I'm not com- completely mistaken, she also did illustrations for the Swedish tra- translations of Tolkien's Silmarillion, uh, but at least for The Hobbit, but as I understand it, also for also for uh, Silmarillion. Um, then I'll uh, bring you up to something different there. Excuse me. There, there is a still a company uh, still running, uh, selling these product these Moomin products like Bertil and Morran. There we are. That's what she looked like. Tuve Marika Jansson. Mm-hmm. And if you'll excuse me, this is uh, in Finnish, but they have all kinds of, and that is Tuulikki Pietilä with Tuve. Tuulikki was um, her lifelong partner. Um, They were together for 47 years.
that's a long time. That's a long time for him. Uh, they met in 1956, or as she, as she was known, Tuti. And uh, there's a character in Moomins, a some it's a significant significant character, Tutiki. Tuliki, be, real life Tuliki, be, became a Moomin character, Tutiki. They lived uh, very nearby in Helsinki, and um, they were, of course, uh, visiting each other privately. Unfortunately, they had to visit each other privately through Attic Passageway. Which is, it's sad, you know? It's sad that they have to do, have to do so. Because this is due to the fact that uh, homosexuality was still considered, was still legally a crime at that time. It was for, for the first 15 years of their life together, first 15 years of their life together, what they had, their love, was illegal. I can't even imagine being a in a relationship with someone for, with someone for 15 years while it's a crime. And even for another 10 years, it was considered an illness. It's horrible. It's wrong uh, on on so many levels anyway there is they but in the 60s they did build build a house on a she uh, Tuve Jansson had, had been uh, her family uh, mother's side of the family had an, an island in uh, in Porvo yeah, off the coast of Porvo, which is eastern eastern Gulf of Finland, and they got um, they got, and then she had always dreamt of having an island of, of her own. And then in the sixties, they built a house on a on a small island in on the Gulf of Finland of. 100 kilometers or 60-ish uh, miles from Helsinki, where they spent the summer months. They spent uh, summers uh, there, and they're um, having spent summers there in the small island of um, the small island of Klobaharu in uh, Pelinki. Uh, where Tuliki uh, filmed hours and hours of of uh, actual film of Tube, and there these you can find these films online if you want. Uh, you can go go there. And in later years, she did all these. She works on these these. Uh, on these books or on the moving graphics with her brother Lars, her younger brother uh, Lars, Lars Jansson. And she had uh, another younger brother, Per Olof Jansson. And yeah, it's she had an interesting life, really. And there is one more, uh, and there is a, a she got sick later in her years. Um, she faced two cancers in in the nineteen nineties, both lung and breast cancers. She withdrew from from publicity after that. the The last. Um, last r remarkable or public appearance of notice was in 1994 in Tampere um, in a uh, writer's symposium 
um, organized in honor of her her 80th birthday and uh, she was an, an incredible woman I would have w wanted to meet her but unfortunately I was the, I was just I, I was a child when um, she passed away she was really appreciated uh, appreciated and very productive uh, in it, it because these movements for example she drew these uh, comics comics to Finnish and foreign uh, newspapers from 1947 to 1961 and uh, after which they were continued by his brother Lars and at its best the Moomintrol comics were published in 40 countries and 60 languages and she is the still to this day she is the most translated Finnish author ever uh, she had several uh, awards from from her uh, from her work in 1966 she had for example she had uh, she she received the Hans Christian Andersen uh, award which is awarded to writers with significant input to literature to, to children's literature she also received the fi the finnish state literature award in 1963 71 and 82 also the finnish cultural fund award in 1990 and the fi uh, and the finland award in 1993 these uh, are big awards uh, there is and in 1986, Tuve and Tuliki donated a um, a collection of arts, which include to the Tampere Art Museum, where they still are. You can go there and check them out, which included over a thousand of Tuve's original original illustrations and sev and many uh, many uh, illustration physical I don't know what you call them but things you build from 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 the comics and such built by uh, Pietila from the Moomins and the Moomin translations of the Moomin books in different languages and over a, and a moving house over two over two meters tall that's something like six feet or so over six feet tall and I've seen it I've seen it in real life it's amazing um, what is really 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 um, interesting is that she that, that went to the um yeah for some background yeah so every year uh we have our president the finnish president um has a an inter an independence day reception every year on the independence day december 6th and she tuve was went there she was invited there only you know very important people are invited and she was invited and her ac accompanying her was Tuliki they were the first same-sex couple at the president at the, at the president's independence day reception which is 
which is why she Tuve is worth remembering. And not just her. Also Tulikki Pietila. So excuse me, I'll uh, there I'll bring you that not on the screen. Excuse me, I'm having a bit bit of um, technical trouble. Okay. Excuse me. Because I am a dumb. Yes, here we are. There is a good article of uh, Tube in English. Uh, there she is uh, as, a, as, a, as a bit younger, younger lady. Uh, so, as, as it says here, over 50 languages, her movement books. So, she is, she is very, someone who is very, very, much deserves to be remembered and there is uh, yes as it says only one Moomin Museum is in the, the only one in the world there I um, yeah I will um, I will provide these links in the description box in um, on YouTube on, on YouTube there. Now, do you people have any uh, questions at, at, at this point? Uh, at this point, because I figured this would be a bit briefer. I can, of course, I, I might do a uh, Sunday special on Moomins at some point, but and that would of, of course include Morgan and uh, Vertil there. I uh, the reason is that I do do the these history with Haiti things beca is because these pe people like Tuve and in last week's e episode. Um, Alan Turing are people uh, who absolutely deserve to be remembered. They're, they, in their, in their own way, they really, really interesting, cu curious, queer people uh, from history. And that, and both of these, both Alan Turing and um, Tuve ha, are interesting people. Are they are so interesting, and they are they have been influential on history in their own right. Alan Turing in computer science and crypto analysis, math, etc. And Tube in her in her paintings, murals, illustrations, cartoons, books, etc., etc. It's yeah, they they are people who deserve to be remembered, and because they deserve to be remembered, it, they're the queer side of them uh, deserves to be remembered. The Tuve and Tulik had had to uh, hide their sexuality. Alan, uh, Alan Turing, Tuve Jansson, Tulik Pietila, Vivica Brandler, they had to hide, every, hide it from most of their lives. And uh, Tuve and Tuliki were together 
40, for 47 years and they still couldn't get married. Um, Tove died a year, just one year before we got the civil partnership when when they could have Tuuliki and um, Tuuliki and Tuve could have legalized have they could have had their legal status as partners ensured um, after 50 almost 50 years together they had but they they never they never had the chance um, which which is in my opinion it's sad sad that they had to that they, they never had the chance today um, today many many the younger generation tend to ta might take it for, take it for granted at, at least in in most in most uh, western societies might take it take for granted that uh, they are able to be together with their same sex couple or or uh, if they are not of the opposite gender or biological sex if they can love and be together with their partners and um, it's it's completely fine it's legal it's not it's not an illness in in most western societies and but just look at what when you look at these people like Alan and Tuve and uh, Tuleke they were Tuleke was an was also an artist an illustrator uh, they were productive they were not sick they were they were not criminal but still they were treated they were treated by society as criminals they were geniuses in their own rights but they were treated as criminals why because they they loved people of their own gender and that is wrong that is plainly wrong and that is why we need to remember these like, these brave brave people brave brave people who stood up for themselves and were eventually were openly for who they are so that people could see for them for who they are and that's why that is that is why it is so incredibly important that we do not forget we do not forget Alan Turing, Tuve Jansson, Tuleki Pietilä, uh, Oscar, Wo Oscar Wilde, etc. That Freddie Mercury, that we don't forget. That is why I will probably do a few more of these uh, history history episodes of, indiv of queer individuals that are more more or less known to public to some extent but i will also uh do some a bit more different stuff uh in these history with haiti episodes uh please uh give me share me some thoughts questions comments perhaps okay because uh, if not I think I will be uh, going going soon now soon ish now I think because it's I I thought of keeping this a bit shorter All right. Right. If you don't have any more questions or um, 
questions, I'll be going now. Now, oops, and we have Stefan saying bye. Moran. And Vartil. Hey. And we Bye.